Everybody, welcome to Falcon Plays Project Zomboid. Oh shit, it's going on finally, right? Been talking about it for a while, finally starting it up. Um, Dark Souls 2 is just about on its last legs. We're about to finish that series. I think there's probably two or three more Dark Souls videos by the time I'm recording this episode for Project Zomboid. So um, Project Zomboid will basically take over that time slot, even though it doesn't really have a particular time slot or a time date, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, all that aside, let's actually, um, we, we started up with the Maldraw, Muldraw, Kentucky map. Uh, we're doing sandbox mode, I guess that'll work out. I'm not entirely sure what's the difference between survival and sandbox. Maybe I should have looked into it, but unfortunately I did not. Let's actually get our person here. Uh, I, I kind of know who I want. If I was in a post-apocalyptic world, I know who I want to, uh, basically guide us to with the promised land here. And that's no other than, um, good old Barbara. We just wait for it. You know it's coming though, right? Barbara Walters, of course. I mean, I'm pretty sure, considering her background and asking the hard-hitting questions for politicians and like you know, Congress and fucking world leaders around the world, Barbara Walters would probably be the ideal survivalist in a post-apocalyptic world. Um, she's rather tanned here. That's not what she looks like. That's a little bit better. And we can give her the. Uh, is this like the bowl cut? Well, not. She doesn't really have much of a bowl cut, but you know, it's kind of like a little bit of. Uh, you know, a, a je ne sais quoi type of look to it. I think that'll work out right there. And let's give her the old gray hair because, you know, she's gray only because she's so knowledgeable. I mean, the older you get, the more gray hair you get, it makes you more knowledgeable. At least that's what I try to tell myself. So whenever I do start graying, I won't be too heartbroken about it. No, I'm not old. I'm just really knowledgeable. Even though um, everybody knows that's not the case. So I think we're good to go. Let's start the game now, right? I can't change her attire. So she's going to start off with some pants and a, you know, a top of some kind. That's all right. You don't want to run around nude. So when it comes to this over here, however, let's see. Uh, we're going to go with construction worker just because I feel that, you know, thick skin works out pretty good for Barbara, right? I mean, she's, she's got to be thick skin for these questions. You know, she shoots these questions out. People get pissed off and don't want to really answer it. And she's kind of like, you got to answer it. And you know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> that's my, you know, that's my excuse for this. In reality, it just seems like the uh, better class, at least to my limited knowledge of the game. I want to I want to have strong because I have a tendency to be a big ass pack rat. So you know the better we have at that. Short tempered. She seems kind of a short tempered lady, and I, that's understandable. Uh, considering her profession, has got to be a little bit short tempered. Brooding, short tempered, yada yada yada. Let's play the game. Alrighty. So what do I know about Project Zomboid? Well, I've taken the game out before we started recording. Probably two runs or so. Nothing too crazy. Just kind of like the startup point. Like what do I what would I like to do? at the start, you know, kind of gather some items, gather the important items first and foremost, uh, maybe a little bit of categorizing here and there, like, you know, a section for foods, a section for weapons, yada, 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 um, and the proper, at least startup safe house, right? Um, but other than that, other than these two latest runs, I'm relatively blind into this game. Uh, I have a history with Project Zomboid. I remember playing it when it first was in development, like fucking early beta, like three, four years ago, was it? Yeah, I know, this, this is not how I died, right? I'm gonna persevere. Don't map out my future for me, game. I make my own future, okay? I make my own fate. So let me start off by the first thing you always want to do is close curtains off. Nobody could see me. That's probably better for everybody involved. Um, so yeah, I do have some history with Project Zomboid. But I'm talking early history when, like, fucking the game was, like, super early development. And it's been a game that's been around for a while, I want to say, right? I mean, I know even at some point the game was halted in terms of production, like the developer's PC was like stolen or something and he lost all of his files. So it's a game that's been around for a while. And even with all that said, I don't have too much of, uh, I guess, history with it still. Let's get this going on over here. Alrighty, loot all. What do I want to do here? Well, um, this seems like a good place to a startup spot, though. It has two floors, which I really do like. And it, it does have like at least multiple exits, which is always a good thing in case you get overrun in a certain exit. So let me go with frying pan. That's not really a bad startup weapon, to be quite honest with you. Uh, equip and primary. I mean, I would love a baseball bat or like, you know, something blunt, which I guess the frying pan does uh, play into that. But you know what I mean, something a little bit more that screams weapon more than a frying pan. A frying pan sounds something like, you know, I don't know, Tiger Woods' ex-wife would kind of chase him down with. But, you know, it's okay. I mean, she had a reason to. Tiger Woods. I mean, I don't know, man. Sex addictions, I, I don't get it. I mean, I mean, I get it. I, I get I get sex, right? It's good. But an addiction to sex, uh, I, I mean, let's just call I mean, if that's the case, I think 99% of males have an addiction to sex in reality. I mean, 
Let's just call a spade a spade here. If you're a cheater, you're a cheater. But, you know, I'm talking about Tiger Woods here. Oh, whiskey. <laughs> Barbara Walters might be doing her fair share of drinking after retiring from the view, that's for sure. Uh, matches sounds like a good idea as well. So do the mugs. Well, actually, you know what? To simplify things for myself here, let me loot everything in here. And the reason I'm doing this, not because I obviously want all this trash, because not everything here that you're going to get is good. But I, at least it gives me a chance to organize things to my to my liking. So in the fridge, obviously, you want the perishables, which I, I believe are indicated by the blue. So that's good to know. So if perishables will be in the fridge, along with probably water. I could fill the cooking pot with water, which I will, so probably take a little bit of time. But that's all right. I feel like this is a game that you have to have, like, patience for, you know. You can't just go out there and fight zombies. I mean, you could. But uh, it kind of defeats the purpose of it to a degree, wouldn't it? So let's go into here and highlight this right here. So mug of water, you, my friend, go in there, along with pot of water. Get your ass in there, pot of water. I got time for you. And that's about it, right? And you know what? Call me that guy, but I don't mind my strong liquor up in the uh, freezer for a while. So when you're ready for it, you kind of pull it out. It's nice and, like, you know, froth. Well, not frothy, but a little bit frosty. Sure, it doesn't freeze, but, you know, I, I like a cold drink. I mean, what can I say? All right, so plastic bag. This will do for now. So let's equip this as our secondary. I'd rather have, like, a hiking bag, which you can get soon. Well, it's the luck of the draw in reality, but that's what we're going to be looking for anyway. All righty, so... Now that we've established a fridge, let's establish a dry foods area. I guess this one will do. Now for this, I want obviously like something like canned beans, cereals, chips, and whatnot. I mean, call me old-fashioned, but I need to know where things are in the right frame of mind, or at least in the right places. Otherwise, you know, I kind of go crazy. It's kind of like, where's this? Where's that? One of the things I enjoyed the most about Resident Evil 4, which is, I guess, not too much of a tangent, considering it's a, well, I mean, I was going to say zombie base, but... I guess it's how you can uh, how you perceive how zombie oriented uh, Resident Evil 4 was, but I loved the fuck out of uh, organizing my inventory in that game constantly. Let me just get a drink here, just uh, nip that in the bud before it does happen. I would love some sheets to kind of close off the rest of these curtains because I would love to stay here as a startup place. But again, it all depends on what we have available to us, and I still got to go outside and kind of scope out the area, make sure there's not too many zombies around. It's gonna kind of cause us any problems. Uh, let's see, bat towel, razor, sheets, okay. So, we got Razor Ramon over here. Oh yeah, Chico. And let's grab the bat towel, and, you know, let's leave the bat towels there. I really don't plan on putting too much stuff upstairs, so... Let's just grab the sheet, though, that's gonna be really important. And that'll be it, right? The other thing I'd really familiarize myself with is that I have a tendency to talk a bit, but, you know, that's the premise of a let's play, right? Uh, otherwise, you'd be kind of bored, or, you know, if you wanted to... No talk through, then I'd figure you wouldn't be watching a Let's Play. But, um, the thing that it's gonna kind of bite me in the ass at times, are these doors, or...? No. These aren't doors, right? No. The, the thing that's gonna bite me in the ass at times is the fact that I gotta... Remember to kind of, uh, keep an ear out, I should say. I closed this window, right? I, I am fucking convinced that this right here is a door. Right? I, it's not just me tripping out, right? Okay, maybe it is me tripping out. Alright, whatever game. Oh! Oh! Hey! The fuck are you doing there? Alright, look, look, here's the problem. Oh shit, that's quite a problem. The problem is, you're gonna break my window, and first of all, if you do break it, you're not gonna pay for it. I know how you're- oh shit. You know what? This is not a good zombie. This is not a good, uh, startup house, honestly. Alright, so let's, uh, get rid of this individual here. Uh, we're gonna have to move. There's just no other way about it. Why do we have to move? Well, there's a lot of zombies here, and sure, I could kind of take them out one at a time, which I would do, but look at this shit that we're looking at down towards the south of the map here. I know that one's not dead, I was just trying to get a little bit of space in between me and them. Alrighty, so let's try this again. Frying pan to the face. You too, old lady. Zombie. Alrighty, relax. Fuck your shit up over here. Don't worry, I'm just over here doing a nice little paint job on the house with some blood, apparently. Alrighty. So let's, uh, I, I like this place, we just gotta make sure that if we do stay here, it's gotta be kind of relatively clean of, uh, these walkers, whatever you wanna call them, zombies, oh, <laughs> I see you hiding behind that, oh shit, okay, you know what, let's just run a bit here, you know what, this might not be the uh, perfect spot for us anymore, I wanted to call it home, I mean, it's got even a nice little doghouse, uh, I would love to get, like, you know, a pet, you know, non-zombie, preferably, but considering... The zombie manifestation here. I know that was gonna happen soon. I, I knew it. I was just kind of uh, playing a little bit close, playing it close to the hip here. 
Stay down. Alrighty, so that one's dead. We might be able to clean this out. Let's uh, let's not fool anybody here. We might be able to do it. It's gonna be a hassle. It's gonna waste my first day. Where I love to just kind of organize things, but if anything, is it just me or is that blood splatter on the wall over there look like a D? <laughs> that should be like a uh, kind of like a calling sign for zombies, you know. You come to this house, you're gonna get the fucking D. The Barbara Walters D, I guess. Alrighty, so, you know, another day in the life of Barbara Walters just killing zombies. So everything is good here. If I could get rid of these cats over here and then the zombies up by the entrance of our house, I, I want to say we could still hang out here. And that's what I would love to do. Alright, the other zombie just spotted me. So, fuck your shit. Stay down. Excellent. A little bit tired. That's alright, Barbara. You know what? I was gonna make a joke about your stamina, but considering how many fucking zombies you've laid to rest here, can't really do that. So I'm convinced that I want to stay here. Is that a good idea? Well, I don't know. I mean, at least I've cleaned out the area, Tad. I mean, it's gotta count for something. I mean, I'm pretty sure that whatever safe house we do decide to stay with at one point or another, we're gonna have to do some random cleanups at times, you know. Um, if being a big zombie fan my whole life has taught me anything is that it's imperative to have little s random cleanups here, so... Fuck. That's a lot of zombies, man. Shit, I'm not sure how crazy I am about this. I really... Oh, fucking goddammit. Really? You know what? We might just have to actually... Jeez, it just never ends, does it? We might just have to, uh, you know, swallow our pride here and just kind of book it. Because otherwise... I feel like I'm gonna be here all fucking day killing zombies. You get, get over here. See, like, there's like at least f four left over here. Not counting the ones that are towards the right hand side of the map right now. So, do you stay down? Okay, let's take a look behind us. Everything's good still. Don't walk into the woods, zombie. That's the last thing I need you to do. Don't be crying either, okay? Alrighty, you know what? Let's leave those guys alone. Let's take care of fucking goddammit. Really? Does this ever end? I'd imagine she's kind of panicked, considering how many fucking zombies I've taken down and it's still going. You stay down. You, fucking what seems to be like a bearded man, you need to fucking go down too. Alrighty, there's another one. Hey, 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 keep your hands to yourself, okay? I gotta tell you, this fucking frying pan's the shit now. Kinda wanna name it at anything. Bearded man! Bearded man, don't, don't, don't you fucking dare do it, okay? Alrighty, you keep your fucking bites to yourself right now. So let's find out what's happening here. Zombie here, zombie there, zombie here. I don't want green eggs and ham. Alrighty, let's see here. <laughs> oh, hey! I'm not sure how this zombie managed to fucking hide itself in this Christmas tree, but... It's gotta be quite a feat, to be honest with you. I mean, they're not really known to be, you know, the most fucking stealthy individuals around. Now, preferably... This is not the game style that I wanted to start off with. I love to start off with a, like a slow-paced area, kind of, uh, do what I was doing initially, was just kind of breaking compartments down, depending on, like, you know, classification of food and everything, or items, and whatever you have you. Fucking god damn it. But I'm so convinced that I want to make this place my home that I, I just... I, I guess I'll clean these guys out, I mean... Again... I apologize, I know this isn't fucking, like, uh... Resident Evil or like, you know, seven days to die or rust or something where combat's a big part, but I know it's more of a survival thing. This is kind of like the ultimate uh, survival sandbox thing, but fucking goddammit, it, survival's also going to be dealing with zombies, I guess. Jesus Christ, this one just came at me really strong too already. I mean, we're dwindling the numbers down, let's not, I mean, can't really complain about that. We're relatively safe for now. Hey, hey, hey. We were safe until this man- Relax, dude, what is your problem? Fucking angry zombies over here. Alrighty, there we go. So, if I was- oh, Fucking god, it just never ends, alrighty. You know what, fuck this idea. Alrighty, uh, for the most part, at least this area around me seems clean now. I mean, minus these guys up there, but maybe those guys will just hang out to their own volition there. What I would love to do is actually just start pillaging this house, if it's capable. Nope, it's not. Let's find a window, then. Alrighty, seems, uh, it seems relatively safe in there. I didn't really peruse it too much, but let's climb through. Let's see what we could find for ourselves here. Let's, uh, close this window off as well. Close the window! Alrighty, what kind of a robber are you? You don't leave, uh, telltale signs outside when you're coming into a place to rob it. Not that I have any experience with that, mind you. Not 
you know, admitting to anything here, officers. Alrighty, so I'm a little bit hungry, a little bit thirsty. You know what, Barbara? You've actually earned that hunger and thirst. I'm not sure how convenient that is, but I mean, you do have a reason to be hungry and thirsty. You've been kicking ass for a while here. So let's go ahead and loot all this shit. Uh, we do have the bag uh, equipped, so we will dump some stuff in there. Um, butter knife can... I already have a can opener, I'm pretty sure. Butter knife, I'm not really too crazy about. Peanut butter would be pretty good. Now, of course, that's only good if you find the jelly. You can't have the peanut butter without the jelly if um, Smokey from Friday has taught me anything here. Let's grab this. Let's grab some matches. Peanut butter is good. I guess another plastic bag really wouldn't hurt things. There's nothing in the stove. That makes sense. Tuna is pretty good. Thank God we have that can opener, man, because... Uh, Honestly, in a post-apocalyptic world, if I didn't have any tuna, or like, you know, ways to open up cans, I'd be fucked. I'm terrible with any sharp object imaginable. So, uh, <laughs> it's probably imperative I have a can opener. That's one of the things you kind of forget about in a post-apocalyptic world in reality, if you ask me. Like, you know, what do you think about initially? Well, foods, obviously, dry foods, uh, you know, weapons, shit like that. But you never think about the can opener. And then what happens? Well, you're stuck with a knife, first and foremost, and you're trying to open up a can with a knife, and you end up cutting yourself. How do I know this? I've watched Dennis Denman as the movie. Yeah. The good the dude that has, like, you know, the, who is it, Christopher Lloyd? He has Dennis Denman as, like, you know, eating beans and shit, and he's over there, like, poor man's over there trying to can, uh, open up a can to feed wood glue. That seems kind of really important. The man, poor man's over there trying to feed Dennis Denman as, and what does Dennis Denman as? He just sets the man on fire and whatever other things that he does. That kid is a menace, man. <laughs> let's, uh, let's not mince any words here. It's got the right name here. Fucking goddamn. Look at this slaughterhouse near my place here. That's cool. This is what I call home, though. Zombie, what are you up to? I need to get this guy before he does something to alert more people. Hey, get over here. Alrighty, you just don't walk through my neighborhood without fucking saying at least hi, right? This is kind of like the mafia, the Barbara Walters mafia. You gotta give me a little bit of a... Uh, what is it? Well, not pride. But you gotta pay your due diligence, though. That's what I'm saying, you know? Honor offers? Uh, I'm not sure what it is, man. I haven't watched Goodfellas in a while. Alright, is that a door right here as well? It looks like a door. What do we have? Oh, a crate! Green paint! Um, sure. I guess this will be our random bullshit place, I guess. Um, let's actually start if we can. I would have loved to have acquired more sheets, but obviously that didn't happen. But we do have some important curtains closed over here, which is good. Not all of them, however. So let's add a sheet to this guy here, and we'll close this guy off. I don't think we have any more though, right? Nah. So you know what? Um, sheets are kind of in our docket right now in terms of things to get. Let me loot this as well. Before we call it a night here, Barbara Walters, it's only 8 o'clock, 8.30, okay? You need to relax with your early bedtime thing, okay? It's not going to fly with me. I'm a person of the night. Not by choice, mind you. Just really terrible insomnia. Um, okay. So... Let's go to the fridge here and see what do we have. Leak? Leak, you go in there. I don't think I've ever had a leak in my life. Well, I mean, I've taken leaks, but I don't think I've had a leak in my life. Or maybe I have. Who knows? I'm just don't... I'm too familiar with leaks, I suppose. Uh, broccoli, you go in there as well. You're kind of hungry, aren't you? You want to eat some butter? <laughs> eat the butter, Barbara. It's all right. It's a plus about the world. Just let it hang out. Let it loose. Doesn't matter. We have nobody really to, um, I suppose... Uh, you know, there's going to be no paparazzi being like, what's Barbara Walters doing after The View? Oh, she just gained a shit ton of weight. That's, that's all right. I mean, everybody's dead by this point. I apologize for the noise in the background, too. Birds are going batshit insane over there. Um, Alrighty, so fridge is good. This is my dry foods, I want to say, right? Yeah, so over here is dry foods. What do we want for dry foods? Well, obviously something like tuna. That would work out. Um, Peanut butter, for sure. You get your ass in there. Magazines, garbage, alrighty. And let's put the can opener in there as well. Okay? And then what we'll do is we'll fill up these bowls with some water. Now, obviously, the reason we want to do this is because um, after two months, I do believe the water does get cut off. So you want to have a nice steady supply of water here. And I'm putting the water in the fridge. Not that you have to, in my understanding, but I am a big drinker of cold water. I can't drink water with room temperature or, like, you know, hot. Not that who the fuck would drink hot water unless, you know, you're drinking it with tea, I suppose. But I, I need cold water at all times, so... There we go. Sorry. That seems to be alright. Now, we gotta find our random bullshit crate, which is over here. And then on this guy, what we will do is put, um... Let's do, like, forks and, you know, just nonsense. Something that's not too categorized, you know. Put that in there. We'll put the matches in there, I suppose. 
Newspaper, we'll keep that because we need like a literature type of center as well. Uh, bat towels, sure, you just hang out in there. Uh, pillow, yeah, why not? Razor, oh, well, I'm pretty sure uh, Barbara don't need to shave anymore. Again, paparazzi, no longer an issue. Wood glue, alrighty, and uh, wood glue would definitely be a good spot for this already. Alright, so now, for the most part, we're okay. Thirsty, okay, Barbara, don't worry. We're, we're almost done with our day, Barbara, don't worry. We just need to find a good little cabinet for books, and I'm going to say this area here seems to work out pretty well. So, we'll put magazine in here in case you get bored. Yeah, and you could always cure boredom by just fucking killing zombies, which apparently Barbara Walters is like a pro at now. Alrighty, so that's good. All she has is basically the clothes on her back, a garbage bag, a garbage bag. Could use as a as a thing to carry weapons, but primarily you're gonna want garbage bags whenever the water does get cut off and you have to make your own um, water wells with garbage cans and shit like that. So I think for the most part that's good. Um, she is thirsty, so- oh, zombie. Dude, how- talk about the creepiest motherfucker of all time just kind of standing out there in the middle of the night. Apologize for my birds if you guys could hear those, by the way. Unfortunately, to finish this episode before I could go ahead and go out there and beat him. <laughs> not- not really, PETA. Relax. Um, before I could rest at- yeah, you know what. Zombie, don't be a dick, right? I'll let you hang out over there and you just let me sleep over here at night and everything will be fine. So where is my room? Where the fuck is my room? You know, I know there's a room over here. I'm not tripping balls, because I... Well, there's a bookcase over here. Okay, you know what? Let's call it an episode here today, guys. I'm gonna try to silence the noise in the background, first and foremost. And overall, relatively good episode. Um, good start at the moment. I mean, kind of, I guess. Uh, <laughs> dead zombies everywhere. I wanted it more of a peaceful thing, but whatever, man. You have to kind of do what's given to you. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the first episode. If you did, leave your comments, everything you want to talk about, how terrible I did. Go ahead, share it. Any sort of advice you want to give, throw it out there as well. But if you did enjoy it, I encourage you to leave a thumbs up just because of the new series. So the support really does mean a lot, especially when on a brand new series launch. Either way, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.